Ah! Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. Right now, I need enough gun. Why? What's happening? I've had this problem for months with this group of bandits. We're getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Let's hit the breeze, boys. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times have changed fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Look, vultures. We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Come on. Slow up. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Come on! We'll head for Ridgewood Farm. See if they know anything. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just more plain meat. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're formed. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the words out we're cleaning up the cabin. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. I can see more vultures up ahead. We best take a look, boys. dead body. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Come on, let's ride! They kinda got too far. Sons of bitches! If you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marston. Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? You know as well as I do, Marshal. One way or another, some men gotta die. Can't see a soul anywhere. This ain't right. All right, boys, let's have a look around. Shit's clear, Marshal. Board it up. Break that door now. The rest of you, get your guns ready.
Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> This has gone far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. I ain't getting fresh. in the back as soon as it looks clear. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes let's go get on your horse boy follow me we can still catch come complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. Bear in mind, he's left me... That somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Keep together and stay in here. This is the best cover we got. Don't try to be something you're not! 
raping bastards! God damn it! There's more of them! There's something that you're still breathing. Come here, boy. Come on, Bessie. Give. Oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck you. Hog time. Let's get him to jail. <laughs>